up? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look at that, guys. First card out is yourself. Sweet. Um, if you are a single Aries, make sure you also check out your bonus singles reading. Those are done monthly. If you need a personal reading, feel free to hit me up. Everything you need to know to get a hold of me is in the description box to the video. We've got two aces already. All right, guys, here we go. So you yourself are coming in this week as yourself with that full energy here. And with the Three of Swords, you're getting over some kind of a hurt, some kind of heartbreak. You're ready to start something new. And it's kind of like you're not really worried about consequences. You're ready to just go for something, something brand new, just taking a risk, jumping right in. All right, let's get some more on that. Yeah, this is all new, Aries. With having the full and two aces here, this is going to be for those of you starting something completely new. And if you're in a connection already, mm, it's either ending so you can start something else or it's moving to a completely different place. The Lover's Reverse Gemini. Yeah, I, I really think this is for those of you either going through a breakup, recently went through a breakup, on the verge of it, but you're okay with it if you are um, because you have something else here with the full. Yep, Nine of Cups. This is about going after your happiness not worrying about the consequences, not worrying about what could go wrong. It's just kind of jumping right in, throwing yourself out there. Um, and you know what? You can't see on this full card, but generally this is a guy jumping off a cliff. And you see that's the same thing happening here, except I think it's a chick in that one, but whatever. But this is wish fulfillment. It's dreams coming true. It's going after that happiness and not being afraid of what could go wrong. Your recent past, you have the two of coins. Now this can be for you or the person you're dealing with. This is just kind of weighing your options in the recent past. Maybe you were seeing two different people, maybe they were, um, maybe somebody was just trying to decide between two people and now you've kind of made the decision here. Um, or just weighing your options, you know, should I stay, should I go, what should I do? Now here in the present, you have the Ace of Swords. So this is where you're having this new beginning. It's a breakthrough, it's like, it's like a burst of clarity, like a light bulb, like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is what I want to do. And it's being real honest about it. What's up with the Ace of Swords? I will pull your energy with the different signs at the end, guys. Page of Swords. Speaking your truth. You could have a stalker. You could be stalking somebody. Um... Either way, it's new communication coming out, speaking your truth, even if it's harsh, even if it's impulsive and kind of hurtful, it's just kind of like it has to be said, either on your part or their part. The Emperor, there you are again, Aries. Both of your major arcana, the Emperor and the Fool, are in your reading. So you are so in your fucking power right now. This is amazing. Um, Divine Masculine doesn't matter what gender you are, it's the energy of the card, but this is about taking control of your life, making it what you want it to be, um, being aggressive, being proactive. And again, this can be for you or the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with another Aries or somebody who's just like that, you know, that kind of like boss mentality. Ace of Cups, you've now got three aces. This is another new beginning here. So you've got honesty communication. Now you've got the actual love, the emotion, the being um, open to saying how you feel. You know what I mean? Not keeping it inside. Oh, let's get you one out of this deck, y'all. Justice, Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. But this is about balance, like you balancing your life back out, you having this new beginning that kind of puts everything where it's supposed to be. 
you know, in harmony and balance. This can also be like marriage. I don't see that right now, but it could lead to that without whatever this is. Your potential obstacle though is the Ace of Wands. So yeah, it's an ace, but it's an obstacle. So if that's the actual doing, the actual action being taken, we have the talking, we have the feelings, you might not have acted on anything yet. All right, let's see what's up with that. Oh, death card, Scorpio. There could be a Scorpio relevant here. Or it could be because something has to end so that something else can pop off. Like this is the actual action. So you or the person you're dealing with might have had a realization. Like this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. But maybe have not done it yet. Actually done it. Just talked about it. You know, voiced your feelings, whatever. Yeah, the Four of Swords. I think because there's some healing here, somebody went through some kind of ending or is going through an ending right now and somebody um, is not quite healed from it yet. So there, there's no actual action doing being done. This is real sexed up. So there's probably no sex yet um, because there's a healing that has to take place first. So now here in the future, you have the 10 of coins. This is that long-term commitment, stability. Let's get one on that 10 of coins. Seven of cups, confusion. Why is there confusion? It could be that you just have a lot of options and you don't know like who you actually wanna settle down with. This is a lot of fantasizing. You could have somebody fantasizing about you. Knight of Swords, there's that honest conversation. You go from the page to the knight. So that's, you know, a natural progression here. And the Two of Wands, this is having a conversation about which direction you want this to go. It's like you come to this crossroads with another person. You guys really have to sit down and, and clear things up, clear up the confusion. Um, and decide, you know, where this is going to go. Ooh, and the star, Aquarius, beautiful. So all that healing that is standing in the way of something here, it's coming in the future. This is all the healing. It's wishes coming true. You've got both wish cards here. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you're doing it. So universal blessings, healing, rejuvenation, replenishment, all that good shit. Um, your advice, guys, is the two of wands, which you also have here in the future. So it's really just deciding which direction you want to go and going with it. You know, it's taking a new path here. It's also your own energy. What's up with the Two of Wands for Aries? King of Pentacles. Uh, this may be like, do you want a full on commitment or don't you? Do you want to take this path towards like long term commitment or don't you? Yeah, the Four of Cups. Do you want to take actual action here? Do you want long-term? This is a lot of contemplation. All right, let's get you some oracles, guys. Um, oh boy, what else, y'all? Let's see. What does Aries need to hear? this week. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. 
right, so this oracle here, guys, is like if you have somebody in mind that maybe you're not talking to and you wanna know how they feel, or maybe you are and they're just not the type to talk about their feelings, this is what they would say to you if they could. So, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're wondering about, take a deep breath, focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Aries? this person have to say to Aries I look for you everywhere I wish I could take back my words well then all right guys let's get you with the different signs so majors you have so far you have double Aries so you could definitely be dealing with another one of yourself you have Gemini you have Aquarius you have Scorpio and Libra so Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Scorpio. All right, here we go, guys. Aries dealing with another Aries. Somebody's hiding something there. Somebody's being sneaky, lying about something. Aries and Taurus. They're codependent and they're kind of just looking to fill a void. Aries and Gemini, everything's changing there. There's something about the foundation of that connection that's unstable and has to be completely like dismantled. Aries and Cancer, sex. It's sexed up, it's fun, it's adventurous, it's, it's exciting. It's not consistent or serious though. Aries and Leo. So you guys probably have really good communication. You like talking to each other. Um, you like their minds, they like yours. You know, it's probably some kind of an intellectual connection, but as far as actual feelings, I don't know about that. If they have them, they're probably not gonna tell you. Aries and Virgo, same thing. <laughs> same thing. They like to talk to you. They think you're smart. Um, they're not really trying to have any feelings currently though. Aries and Libra. So if you've been waiting to them for them to kind of act like they care and stop being so whatever, whatever, um, I would expect them to kind of take some action now and act like they give a shit. Aries and Scorpio. So you have the lovers reverse, which you also have up here and you have Scorpio in the reading. So you could definitely be dealing with one. If that's the case though, this is likely an ex of yours or a breakup because we have the lovers, which is soulmate shit, but we have a ton of soulmates and this particular one, there's a disconnect. There's a real lack of harmony currently. Aries and Sagittarius. They don't know what the hell to do about you. They're stuck between their head and their heart. They're probably trying to be, you know, real people pleasy. Um, so they're stuck. They just don't know what to do. Aries and Capricorn. So this is worth putting some effort into it. Um, it's going to take some time, but it is worth it. Aries and Aquarius. Oh, and you had Aquarius with the Ace of Cups in this reading. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is a brand new beginning. They've got a lot of emotion to offer. Um, they're definitely wanting something with you that's legit. Aries and Pisces, they're not looking for commitment. You guys probably aren't even talking. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. Take care.